हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑन एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ वाटर बाय रूट्स बिफोर दिस वन वी हैव कवर्ड दीज मेनी टॉपिक्स इन रेस्ट ऑफ द टू वीडियोस प्लाज्मोलिसिस डी प्लाज्मोलिसिस ऑस्मोसिस डिफ्यूजन इमिबेशन टगर प्रेशर वॉल प्रेशर एडेप्टेशन ऑफ रूट्स फॉर एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ वॉटर नाउ पाथ ऑफ वॉटर एब्जॉर्बन इन रूट्स फॉर द सिंपल वे I have drawn a diagram. This much portion just above the soil is actually the shoot, and this one is the root, showing the root here. Going to cut the transverse section from here. ऐसे करके हमने इसका transverse section काटा T S. So roughly, the section will show in between that is the steel around it that is termed as the endodermis, and of course the cortex one more layer that is epidermis and cortex. when we make the cellular diagram of this part so it is there in this way this much portion i am going to draw this much portion i am going to draw in a cellular way so the outermost layer is epidermis and in a simple way it is like this one barrel shaped and made up of parenchyma this is epidermis and just below it there is the cortex and this is the stellar part going to draw the stellar part first of all this is endodermis like this just below the endodermis there is one more layer termed as pericycle going to change the color so that it will be easily visible to all of you this is pericycle and the cortex no doubt that it is so many cells are arranged one above the other root hair is the continuous part with this epiblema then followed by xylem and in between it is phloem phloem more xylem 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 phloem 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 going to label this one root hair this one is epiblema in few books it is written as epidermis also then followed by this much cortex this layer is termed as endodermis this layer this one this one is termed as pericycle this red tissue is termed as xylem this is x y l e m and this one is to be termed as phloem now soil along with the soil water which is present in the form of solution as we know that this solution present outside the root is there in hypotonic condition so outermost solution is hypotonic in its nature hypotonic solution so as we know that water always moves from hypotonic to hypertonic so the movement of water is in this direction and definitely it will enter from the root hair then from root hair it will enter into the epidermis and then from epidermis it will enter into the cortex when water enters into the root hair and epidermis then the solution or the uh, content or the cell sap which is present inside the epidermis turn into the hypotonic with respect to the this cortical cell going to write down as a then followed by b then c and this path of the water is in this way ultimately it reaches into the endodermis from endodermis this water will enter into pericycle and from pericycle into the xylem so into your examination when the sequence will be there for making the arrangement or rewriting so first of all the number 1 is there for the soil water if it is there into the question so this is number 1 that is soil water then followed by root hair number 2 then epidermis or epiblema it is number 3 followed by cortex number 4 followed by endodermis number 
followed by pericycle number 6 followed by xylem number 7 and there is no role of phloem in ascent of sap so we are going i have just made a simple simple cross in front of the phloem so this is the path of absorption of water into the roots this is the path of absorption of water into the roots next is osmotic pressure so what is osmotic pressure it is a pressure which is is developed by solute in any solution but the question is in what way will measure it so this is a beaker and of course hypotonic solution filled into the beaker this membrane is semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane and as we know according to the rule of osmosis the solution inside the thistle funnel it is hypertonic solution hypertonic solution so as we know that water will move from beaker to inside the funnel so this type of the movement of the water is there water molecule will move from beaker to the funnel now if we create any extra pressure on the stem of this funnel and use any device for the measurement of the pressure so that pressure is to be defined as osmotic pressure so that external pressure which is created on the hypotonic solution to stop the osmosis is known as osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is the pressure external pressure which is applied on any hypertonic solution to stop the osmosis is known as osmotic pressure and the main cause of this pressure is the solute present into the solution next is the root pressure what is root pressure i have already drawn an earthen pot over here showing you roots inside it this is the stem you can observe that there is no leaf at all that means there is no transpiration at all but this this is covered from the here to stop the evaporative loss of water from the surface this soil is a wet now due to certain pressure this water present into the soil will enter into the root and the water will reach into the xylem column into the xylem and ultimately this water will ascend up due to this rising column into the rising column of water into the xylem the mercury which is filled into this rubber tube will create pressure on this column also the mercury is here and this it will rise like this one and this type of the pressure is called as the root pressure so root pressure is the pressure which is developed into the root due to the inward movement of the water into the cortical cells one by one and this root pressure is responsible little bit ascent of sap of water into the stem this is defined as root pressure so thank you